What's up guys, we're under the hood of my 2012 Ram with a 6.7 Cummins here. And uh, this video is going to be focusing on the back pressure sensor that's located on the passenger side. All right, here's your air intake. And it's actually right here. Uh, let me just start by disconnecting it. This has um, two connections here. Let me zoom in with the camera. A little red tab, which I already proceeded into. Oh, I'm sorry which I already proceeded and detached it. You can simply do that by getting a, a flat screwdriver like this small one and putting it over on this end here and sliding it over until you hit it. And then you simply detach it here, put it to a side, and that's the sensor here. And we're going to be using a is that one and one sixteenth six point socket should fit on there all right now that it's loose take it off my hand Now, I've never done this before, so it should be pretty interesting to see how this looks. Oh, yeah. See that? It's a little sooty in there. All right, now I'm actually just getting Q-tips and going in there. I don't know if I can get good light here. Bear with me. Boy, I see a bit. It's not going to pick it up. But here, let me get an idea here. Swab of this. Let's see. See that soot? That would focus. Come on. Look at that. So I'll keep going until I get it clean. Alright, so I went ahead and actually got my little screwdriver here and just I was going in that hole and just scraping around and it's it's a ton more soot than I expected. So I'm actually just gonna get a the shop vac and Instead of just uh, you know, blowing it out with the risk of it going into this line here, which uh, I think I'm going to disconnect this line at this point here. And I think right here on an exhaust manifold bolt to loosen that a little bit and get my um, a pick to go through that hole to see if that's clear, if the, uh, the passage is clear. I'm gonna want to back this 15 millimeter nut off there. Again, the visibility. Okay, yeah, right here. Where, where are my fingers touching? Back that off a little bit. Okay, disconnect these two retaining clips. Okay, next, get a 12 millimeter and back this nut off. As you can see, I already proceeded to do so, and you'll be able to easily back it down just a little bit and you'll be able to get a, your pick in there and i'm going to go through with my pick until i see it in that um the sensor hole there all right instead of actually just going to use this, this wire here you bend it and i'm just going to try to hold this camera and put this in need three arms in this world to be comfortable one second all right okay Hopefully you can see that wire in there, but I'm just moving it inside and out, up and down, just trying to, you feel it was fighting a little bit when I first inserted it, but now that I've cleaned up the soot, it's moving pretty freely now, so I'm going to call it there. And assembly is very straightforward. Just complete reverse what you did. Let's tighten that. Okay, that's hand tightened. Get my 12. 
Not to kill it. Snug it. Put these wire loom retainers back on, just like that. Okay, what A15. Now I'm gonna be in the back here. Not gonna kill it, that's good. All right, now I need to go grab the sensor. Again, I just cleaned the original one here. I don't think there's a need to replace this. I just see how it cleans. Not that this truck was giving me any error codes, which, um, by the way, this will give you an error code. I will uh, link it here, but um, my truck wasn't experiencing it. I am pretty much doing more of like preventative maintenance doing this. So I'm just going to proceed to put in the sensor. Cap back on. Slide that. There we go. All right. All good. Enjoy. <laughs> 